wait. Don't upgrade your RAM just yet. Chances are what you need and what you want are two very different things. Let me show you an example. Here are three laptops arranged in an increasing order of processors, faster RAMs, and in general, more RAM capacity. All are running the latest copy of Windows. The only catch is one of them is using an SSD. What I'm going to do is start Windows on all of them and end by opening a browser and opening YouTube just to test how fast is the fetch, decode, execution, and probably write, no writes. Only fetch, decode, and execute. There we are. Clearly, one is working a lot faster than the other two. To understand what happens when you push the power button is your computer, your processor in more general, sends an instruction to your lowest memory to fetch essential Windows files and load it to the RAM. Now that happens the quickest in an SSD. But in the case of mechanical hard drives, since fetching information is a lot slower than SSD, your processor is most of the time just sitting idle, waiting for your hard drive to load up memory at once, creating, effectively, a bottleneck. Hold on, then in what case do I actually upgrade my RAM? Well, it depends entirely on you. Are you the kind of guy who opens a lot of Chrome tabs? Are you the kind of guy who video edits a lot? Do you intense game? Do you game and multitask or multitask intensely? Do you get messages like buffer overflow? Then yes, sure upgrade your RAM will really help. But in my case, 8 GB of RAM is good enough for this bad boy. But its load times are pathetic. And frankly, I am tired of it. So I went out and bought a 240 GB SSD from Amazon or Flipkart. Whoever gives you the better deal. Just go out and buy one of these and swap it out for your internal hard disk. All right, the things you would need. SSD, this is most important. Make sure you have Windows 10, a copy of it, flashed into your flash drives. That's about it. That's all you need. And a couple of screwdrivers. Where is my screwdriver? All right, let's begin. Once the screws are all out, you can bust the back open. I haven't cleaned it for a very long time. Wow, it's been a while. Okay, Wi-Fi card, hard disk is right here, the battery, the RAM. Now, bear in mind, once you disconnect your hard drive from your computer, recovering back to your Windows is gonna be weird. In fact, in most cases, it will not boot back the way you think it will. You might say some error segmentation fault, something like that is likely to occur. So before you disconnect, make sure you're that sure. In order, I'm gonna just lift this and unplug. God, that's more force than I thought it'll take. Jesus Christ. All right. Crucial SSD. Leave all these warranty cards and yada yada aside. 250, 240 gigs of great storage. Super fast. I can't wait for this computer. Bring it to its full potential. Now, once your hard disk is up, take your SSD, align it with your SATA 3 connector, and house it all in. All right. Kind of snug. Now, uh, am I missing anything? Screws, screws. There are two screws here, but then... Nothing. All right, you know what? I'll just plug it in. Here goes nothing, guys. That's it. That's supposed to work. Now, depending on where you want to install your Windows, which is obviously the SSD, select it, make its new volume, and let it do its thing. All right. Once you have all your drivers and necessary apps installed, fire up Windows and never be worried about slow boot up speeds and slow app response times. Alright, great Matthew, but what about the internal hard disk? Well, if you can notice, I bought a SATA 3 cable. This I'm going to use as an external hard disk. But if one of you are more inclined to get more freaky, you could get one of these. Now this simply slips into your what once housed your CD drive can now fit this. You just put your uh, hard disk 
into this and that this converts it to your CD power line, routing all your data through there, you should be good to go. Well, if you want to get more creative with um, safety, uh, you know, something to hold the internal hard disk, preventing static and shock and spoiling it effectively. Well, my Ultra Max Pro Jugard, you could use one of these that once housed the SSD can now house your HDD. It does the trick. It really does. I tested it for one day. No problem. It will not short circuit. Effectively a great replacement and it looks, it looks cool. Hmm, what did you got? Well, in case you're wondering, this was WASD Club. Stay subscribed. And if you like this video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. Really motivates me to make more of these kind of videos. Don't forget to comment. And most certainly, like always, stay cool and stay safe. I'll meet you next time.